YouTube and welcome to another music reaction with me, Dyke Martinell. Yeah, 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 yeah. So today's recommendation comes from my Discord. This comes from the awesome Mr. Sal Saucedo, who says, um, this is the winner of Superbands 2, Crack Silver, with their song Crack, uh, no, sorry. Um, Crack Silver or Crack Shot? I don't know, there's a lot of Korean writing there. Um, so I'm thinking the band's name is either Crack Silver or Crack Shot. But the song we're going to be trying out, uh, trying out? I'm trying this song out. You know, see if I like it. The song we're going to be listening to today is a song called Overdrive. Um, and I believe that's the film clip. Which is cool. Um, on this channel, obviously, we're, we've been um, branching out to different countries and stuff. And, you know, probably a lot of that's been Japanese. But uh, I have checked out a few uh, Korean songs as well. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be uh, exploring more of the world with you. So yeah, no, never heard this band, never heard this song, don't know what type of music it is. I'm assuming it could be rock, educated guess. But um, yeah, excited, really excited. So before we get into it though, if you do feel like you want to subscribe, um, yep, yeah, that's nice. And if you do feel like you want to hit the bell, that's also nice, um, it makes you a nice person. And if you do want to put a like on my face, I'm going to use this joke for the third time in three weeks. You can have some of my Macca's coffee. Mm-hmm. -hmm. Tasty. Um, yeah, let's check this out. Beard. That's cool. Um, yeah, no, so far I'm really, really liking it already. Like, it started with, like, just nice, nice chuggy palm mutes on the guitar. So you got the dan di 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 type of riff, which is always, you know, very powerful. Um, love the keys. Really, really love the keys. Um, you know, guy's got a good voice, you know, a bit of, a bit of anger behind it. Um, catchy chorus with the, um, oh, oh. I'm not gonna, not gonna try and sing it with my, uh, my cold, but you know what I'm trying to say. But no, no, um, really, really cool. Oh, I love the bass too. I love the tone of the bass. Oh no, it's doing okay. Sorry for stopping it. Um, but I, I was thinking the only thing that's catching me off guard with a chorus is I expect it to go into dun 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 dun, but it's actually going into like a halftime beat. Um, and both times it's it's um it's tricked me. But I think it's going into now the um the rock beat part um that I was expecting.
That was cool. That was really cool. I got one thing I want to check out before I get into my analysis, though, because I just want to make sure I was right about before. Was it a half time on the first chorus, or am I just making shit up? Nah. The first time was um, standard rock beat, and then the next time they brought it to a half time. So yeah, I was talking shit there. Um, so maybe it was just the second time that I'm like, oh, half time. Um, but no, that that was really cool. Um, I thought the song, you know, obviously was very rocking. You know, I, I love just like the chugginess of the guitars. Um, I love the bass tone, um, especially when the vocals, um, like it stripped down to just the bass and like the drums and the vocals came in. And I thought, um, you know, I like parts of songs where they strip it down and it's just like bass, drums, and vocals, and it gives the, um, you know, uh, gives a bit of a, an atmosphere. And it, it, I guess, it gives like the vocals and. Uh, a bit of room to breathe they're not overshadowed by too much noise and then I think that what that also does is that when it comes into the pre-chorus and the chorus um, it makes that more powerful so I thought that worked really really cool in this song uh, musicians were great um, the guitar solo um, at first I was thinking with a guitar solo I'm like oh I like a Kirk Hammett solo lots of wire um, and then it got a little bit more technical maybe a little bit more technical than what I'd see Kirk Hammett do um, maybe not I don't want to um underplay how good um Kirk Hammett is um but yeah then obviously the um the keyboardist did a solo as well which was really really cool um and sounded good like you know obviously they're, they're showing off how you know technically good they are but it suited the song as well um and yeah no I, I think um that was really it this song just rocked you know the the vocalist added um not too much grit to his vocals but just enough to add a little bit of an anger element um the you know, the hooks were catchy. And, yeah, that was nice. Good suggestion there, Sal. Appreciate that one. Anyway, if anybody else has a recommendation, hit me up in the comments below. If it's something I've seen, I shall let you know. If it's something I haven't seen, I'll try and get to it soon. And also, that link there, that link there takes you to all of my social media. But the main thing there would be uh, my Discord. Discord is a good place that you can interact with people about music and stuff and things. Uh, but you can also make recommendations there. Anyway, that's it for this video. I shall see you next time.